out where he was on the bed with the Kool-Aid down. I mean, his effort is like right here after his set. How y'all doing though? Y'all look good to the motherfuckers. <laughs> Thank y'all for coming out for real. I really appreciate that shit. I really put uh, the last of my money into this. I did this set of paying rent shit. So I'm gonna be camping out right here tonight. So I'll see y'all niggas later. Fuck y'all. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna get right into it. Having kids suck ass. <laughs> I'm just be real with you. And I found out something recently. You can drop your kids off at a fire station, no questions asked, and they gotta take them, no matter how old they are. Did y'all know that? Oh, so y'all didn't know that, right? If my stepdaughter steals one more Reese's peanut butter cup from Mariano's, I'm dropping her ass off at the fire station on her fucking birthday. If my son sticks one more tampon up his nose, I'm dropping him off right tonight. The fuck? I, I can't take it no more. And um, my son is two, you know what I mean? So he's at that age now where he's starting to talk more, he's starting to be a little bit more clear, and he got three favorite words. Well, more like two, but the, the first two is most important. Yuck and nasty is his favorite shit to say. But he only say it when he at the grocery store staring at random white people. <laughs> I have never bowed and apologized to so many fucking white people over the course of 10 fucking minutes. I'm just sitting there just like, oh, you don't know no better, Master. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll teach you good, I'll teach you good, I'll teach you good, I'm sorry. Right. And the best one, though, is my son, I'm not a good influence, I'm gonna tell you that right now, my wife can attest for that. Um, my son likes to call people bitches, too. And, uh, Y'all think it's funny, but if a two-year-old called me a bitch at 10 a.m. at Costco, I might have to just go home and kill myself. Cause, uh, <laughs> at, that, at that point, life just ain't worth living no more. Cause uh, you know what, what's that? What they say? Like if an adult call you ugly, it don't mean nothing. But if a kid call you ugly, it's true. <laughs> exactly. So if an adult, if a kid call you a bitch, it's true. <laughs> and I can't live with that shit. That's just me, though. I don't know. My son, he he a, he a crazy motherfucker. I can't, that's all I gotta say about him. My stepdaughter, she turned 11 real soon, and now she in that weird phase where she be asking me weird sexual questions. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's real concerning, because one, I'm not her real dad, and two, why does she think it's okay to talk to me like that? Like, I'm just not a fan of none of that, you know? Like, at first, it used to be cool shit. Like, you know, she would ask me stuff like, hey, Melvin, were uh, tablets a thing when you were a kid? Were iPads a thing? And I'd be like, of course they were. I'm 26, I'm not that much fucking older than you. Don't call me old. You know, like, but now it's just like, hey, Melvin, what's a gangbang? <laughs> and I'm just like, what are these kids at the Boys and Girls Club in the kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> a couple of our counselors in the back, so they're going to remember this shit. <laughs> like, so I try to do my best to explain it in, like, PG terms. So I'm like, okay, baby girl, you know, you know what sex is, right? She's like, yeah, that's how you and mom made my baby brother. I'm like, okay, yeah, a game bang is when your dad and all of his coworkers get together and they're not trying to make your baby brother. <laughs> she, her dad ain't like that too much, but uh, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. So now I gotta, uh, I, got, I, I had a new discovery and I really wanna educate y'all on this. You think I was getting paid to promote this show? What I'm about to tell y'all? Have a uh, have y'all used any Dr. Bronner soap? Please, anybody? Yes, you know. So you know how magical it is, right? It is. You see, listen to her. It's really fucking good. If you get the chance, steal some from the grocery store because it's not worth the money. But, uh... <laughs> see, exactly. You get a really big bottle and you need, like, a tablespoon per shower. It's amazing. But I didn't believe the hype at first, you know, because the TikToks was saying wild shit. I'm getting old. You see, I say the TikToks. I don't even say TikTok anymore. <laughs> but... I used to, I didn't believe the wild shit people were saying. People were saying shit like it revitalizes your skin, you feel fresher than ever, and make your booty hole whistle. Like, <laughs> and, and like, that's what the people was actually saying. Like, I seen a motherfucker say that, uh, what's it called? Like, he could breathe out of his urethra after using the, the soap. Like, the fuck else it? I guess you never took a breath until you breathe out the tip of your dick or something like that. You know? <laughs> For those of y'all who don't know, Dr. Bronner's been around since like the 1940s, and I'm pretty sure the dude who made Dr. Bronner's either had ADHD or smoked meth. Because why else would you think you need a soap that you could use to wash your dog, wash your wife, brush your teeth, wash your ass, wash your car, wash your house? Like, you don't need an 18 soap. There's too much going on. I got ADHD. I know you. That's, that's where it comes from. But in general, let me tell y'all, that shit is magical, okay? My nutsack has never felt more cool. My nutsack felt like it was on top of a motherfucking mountain. Like, Mount fucking Everest mountain. Like, so cool. If 
my nutsack was a cool kid in a movie, it would be Zac Efron in High School Musical. You know, we're all of this together. Yes, that would be my fucking nutsack after using Dr. Bronner. I'm telling you, that shit was amazing. My nutsack was cooler than Big Daddy Kane in 1980, in the 1980s. Like, my nutsack is fucking mean coat. Like, that's how sick cool the fuck it was. Like, I'm telling you, that shit is amazing. And get some, and watch your booty hole whistle. Yo, y'all should let me make, I should, I should be able to do a commercial for Dr. Bronner's, and that's how, that's the pitch line, make your booty hole whistle. <laughs> All right, um, I got a quick question. Uh, do y'all like uh, G-Bells? Nobody? No, y'all got all quiet and, and scared. You know, like, grand, not moms, I like the fuck. Grandmas, I like the fuck. Oh, yes. uh, am I, you said you guess. Am I the only one? Like, I ain't talking about 40s and 50s. I'm talking about 60s and 70s. You know what I'm saying? Like, milk and magnesia, old bitches. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, an animal once a month to keep themselves regular type of bitches. You know, that's what I'm talking about. I, got, I came up with a saying, because y'all don't understand. You know what they say for big girls where it's like, you got to be too something to do something? Y'all know that? Well, I came up with this one. You gotta be 63 to fuck with me. <laughs> Something about old bitches, they just got it. You know what I mean? Like, they know how to make you feel good. They say nice things to you. You ain't gotta whine and dine them. You ain't gotta stand outside the nursing home with a boom box. You ain't gotta do nothing. Like, nothing at all. Like, the only thing you need to do, and it's so minor. That's the best part. It's so minor. And it's like all the old lady pussy you want. Show them how to use a feature on their iPhone. <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to God. So, Ron, you up there, you old. Find some old lady and show her to take a screenshot. Pants instantly wet. I was at work last week. I showed the lady how to turn up the brightness on her phone. Pants instantly wet. I mean, it might have been pissed, but I'll take what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Like, that's just what it is. I like that shit. Uh, so, I gotta say something. I'm real grateful for my wife, mainly because she lets me talk about banging old ladies and she don't get upset about it, you know what I mean? <laughs> but also because no matter how old I get, she still finds me sexy. Y'all, that, was, that was a beautiful moment for me. Y'all sitting there with your stale, stale face and shit? Like, okay, okay, well, fuck y'all too then. <laughs> I'm sorry y'all ain't nobody special in y'all life. Even if you're here with your special motherfucker, they got that special, I guess. <laughs> but, at this point in my life, there's only three types of people that find me sexy. There are old black gay men that resemble my father. <laughs> like, specifically niggas that look like my dad. I don't know what it is about my body, but these granddaddy niggas is after me. Is after me. <laughs> the next one the, is old, real, real old women. Like, not the Gmail I was talking about. I'm talking about the old bitch that kind of look like Bill Murray. You, you know what I mean? Like, you ever see somebody that's like one sneeze away from death? <laughs> right, like, like, you ever, or you don't see somebody that's just walking, you just, like, damn, they gonna fall at any given minute. Like, you know, like, like, those are the type of bitches that find me sexy. Those are the type of bitches that want my dick, and I, I don't, I can't reciprocate. The last one, and y'all probably experience this, like, please let me know if I'm not alone, I really don't want to feel alone in this, is Mormons. Alone? What the fuck? Y'all look all like stone face. Like, you ain't never heard of what a Mormon is? A Mormon is a religious sect of niggas that live in Idaho or something like that. I don't know. I'm sorry. Mormons are religious niggas or something like that. But in general, all I'm saying is they want to fuck you. And y'all probably like, Melvin, how you know Mormons want to fuck you? They message me constantly on Facebook. As a man, think about it. When you're going after a girl, what you do? You try to get her attention. You invite her over to the house to read the Bible. Like, you really try to get in touch with her, right? These Mormons are doing the same thing. They're asking for sandwich shop recommendations. They're trying to figure out where's a good park to play at. And obviously, they just want to fuck, and I'm not cool with that shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and the, the worst part about it is, it's all male Mormons. Like, they're the ones that really want to get a piece of me. They're the ones that want to eat Reese's peanut butter cups out of my belly button and shit. <laughs> like, like, they're the ones that want to smack my ass on the front and shit. Like, and I can't get down with that. Uh, I'm gonna end it with this. Uh, speaking of Mormons, I had to save my mama from some Mormons one time, cause they did the same shit to her, and I had to stop her. I was like, "Hey, mom, you know, uh, they trying to like take you and sell you into sex slavery, and you ain't got no teeth, so you are super valuable. <laughs> <laughs> you are a prime asset. If you are a steak, you will be the wagyu steak of like sex slavery. You know that, right? And thankfully, that was enough to get her to like chill out and leave them alone and cut them off, because at the end of the day. If anybody's gonna take advantage of my mom's body, it's gonna be me. <laughs> 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 <laughs>